the what I wanted to do had crazy things like be on a podcast and get written up in industry articles and and have clients on a scale that I didn't before. And the strangest part of all of it was watching it happen as I moved through. In a lot of ways, my business didn't exist before I started it. This isn't, there's not a lot of coaching around pitching and presenting in the, in the advertising space. And so I was spending a lot of time trying to prove to myself that I could exist and prove to clients that they needed me. I got lucky one month and had two corporate clients. And the thing that pushed me in the 90 day pipeline was the realization that I didn't know how to get lucky again. Coming into 90 day pipeline, the shift was, but don't worry about whether you think you're valid and whether they like you worry about your expertise. And by doing that, I was attracting more and more people. Now it was a huge shift and a, and a, a roadmap to say, okay, this is what I have to do to get those months and, and not have them be lucky, but have them be planned. I, I needed a system. I needed a plan. I needed to know what I was supposed to be doing. And I could either spend years trying and failing and discovering it through that process, or I could just come into 90DP and, and have it handed to me and then go through the work with people who were going to help me do it properly the first time. The what I wanted to do had crazy things like be on a podcast and get written up in industry articles and, and have clients on a scale that I didn't before. And the strangest part of all of it was watching it happen as I moved through. And it wasn't a result of any one thing, but it was sticking with the plan and believing in the process and watching as here, somebody would like me to be a guest on their podcast. This person says, I, I have a guest column to write and I want it to be about you. And watching as not only I began to believe that I was an expert in my space, but my space began to believe that I was an expert in it. <laughs> very strange to see and very gratifying all at the same time. I, I needed a system. I needed a plan. I needed to know what I was supposed to be doing. And I could either spend years trying and failing and discovering it through that process, or I could just come into 90DP and, and have it handed to me and then go through the work with people who were going to help me do it properly the first time. Truthfully, there are so many things I took away from the program. I think the biggest one is to really know what it is you stand for, the, the power positioning, the idea behind not only who you are, but who you're talking to. Because one of the first things I discovered was that I was just slightly off in my messaging and in, in my mindset. And it made a huge difference when I was able to adjust that. I was lucky I came into the program knowing a lot about who I was. I still learned more, but I never would have had even that tiny realization of oh, I'm not supposed to be talking to this person. I'm supposed to be talking to the person right behind them if I hadn't gone through 90 Day okay. Pipeline. One of the things that gets mentioned a lot in, in 90 Day Pipeline when you're working on yourself is to give yourself permission to succeed. And it's one of those things that I always scoffed at. I, I quit a perfectly good career to start my own business. Of course, I wanted to succeed. And I didn't realize that the reason I wasn't doing this sooner is because I didn't think I earned it. If you are on the fence, then odds are you're supposed to be here because this is what's going to get you where you want to go faster. And it's been hugely transformative for me. And I, I keep telling people when they come in, it works. Just whatever you were worried about, it works.